the Portuguese coast receives sunshine throughout the year, making it the perfect destination for renewable sources of energy. In fact, solar parks and wind turbines generate nearly 70% of Portugal's electricity. Fossil fuel imports meet the rest of the energy needs. But the country is trying to change that. It has installed turbines in deep sea where winds blow much stronger. This helps generate more energy than the conventional structures on shore. We are here to take advantage of an energy source, the sun, which is complementing water. During the sunnier times, we have less water, so we are complementing these sources with one another, which will help the path towards sustainability and to have a decarbonized society. But challenges persist. An offshore project is expensive. However, its advocates say that long-term benefits outweigh short-term costs. They say that the projects will eventually make electricity cheaper. There are a few different designs uh, in, in offshore floating technology. Eventually, they, they will mature enough to be more cost-effective uh, and that will uh, bring uh, large-scale uh, offshore wind farms floating uh, to our horizon. Offshore wind farms have also been facing opposition from fishermen who are not allowed to operate around the projects. They fear a loss of livelihood. Not many of us have authorization to enter neighboring country waters, so we are very limited. We are limited to the south by the windmills and to the north by the border. Of course, this affects us and will affect in the future. Despite the hurdles, the Portuguese government is willing to bet on the unconventional projects. It feels that Portugal should take advantage of its natural resources for a greener future. Bureau report, we own. Wild is one.